Hi kiddos, it's Riley. And today I am back with another Adri video for you all. This one has been very much requested. I put a poll on my Instagram today to ask you guys what you would like me to film this afternoon and the response was overwhelmingly this video and I am very excited to film it. So as the title says, today we are going to be talking about balancing adult life and regression. First things first is that it's important to remember that being fully regressed all the time probably isn't healthy. Now it is possible to live in a naturally regressed state and when I say fully regressed I mean regressed to that of a toddler or younger to the point where you are not capable of living an adult life and fulfilling your adult responsibilities. So if you are still capable of fulfilling those responsibilities while you are regressed because some people are, that's totally okay not talking to you. But being fully regressed to that of a baby or a toddler to where you can't really do normal everyday things, doing that 24-7 is not healthy. However, it is possible to regress 24-7 with it being healthy, but that's another thing to get into for another day, I suppose. If you feel like your regression is hindering your ability to live your normal life, I would highly, highly recommend speaking to a therapist. They are there to help you with things like that, and there is no shame in seeking help for something like that. Anyway, finding balance between regression and adult life can be something that's difficult, especially so if you regress involuntarily because that means you then can't always control when you regress, which is something that I deal with a lot. I do have other videos on involuntary regression, so if you'd like to check those out, they are on my channel. So here I wanted to give you five tips that I have to maybe help you manage your adult life and regression and keep somewhat of a balance. Tip number one is to set aside specific time throughout the day or the week to regress if you can. Because then you know if at that point you tackled all of the adult responsibilities that you have, you are free to regress and you don't have to worry about anything else. You have that time you set aside for regression as something to look forward to. It can be a motivator to get all of your adult responsibilities done sooner so you could have some more time to regress. And I also wanna add that some of these tips might work for you, some might not. Again, everyone is different. Some of these have helped me, some of these have helped other people that I know. So you, you are gonna have to do some experimenting to find what works for you. Tip number two is try to find out the things that trigger your regression and avoid them in situations where you know you shouldn't be regressing. So if hearing Disney music is something that makes you regress, maybe when you're doing adult things and listening to a playlist, you listen to a playlist that doesn't have any Disney music on it so you can avoid being triggered into regression. But alternatively, when you do have the ability to regress and you've got the space and you've got the time, surround yourself with those triggers. So whether that's baby toys, music, certain sounds, smells, shows, sensory things, find the things that tend to induce your regression, avoid them when you're not supposed to regress, and when you can regress, go ham wild. Tip number three is to find a routine and a schedule. This will help you figure out what times you can and can't be small. If you have a somewhat of a routine to your day, then you kind of know when you'll be able to regress. You can plan appropriately. And it can also train your brain to use regression as a reward for completing adult responsibilities, very similar to uh, tip number one. However, do not use your regression only as a reward. Regression in and of itself can be a coping mechanism, a trauma response, and loads more of things. You shouldn't only engage in it as a reward for yourself because there will be other times when you need to use it as a coping mechanism and things like that and you don't want to have it completely programmed that no, it's only a reward. You can use it as a reward, but not 
only as a reward, if that makes sense. Tip number four is to make sure you are feeding all parts of yourself and not just your regressed self. This is something that I have struggled with in the past, not so much recently, but when I was probably 18, 19. Participating in adult activities and grown-up hobbies that you love is just as important as participating in the regression hobbies you love. There was a long while there with my myself where I pretty much lost touch with my adult self and regression had become the core of my being. While regression is incredibly important to me, it's about 50-50 and I find when the balance is less than 50-50 for me, things are kind of out of whack and I don't feel as good. So it's important as you take time to regress and color and watch cartoons and do all those activities you like in your regression, you also find activities and hobbies you enjoy outside of your regression. For me, I am a witch in and out of my regression, and out of my regression I like to practice spell work and research a lot of different topics and learn about deities. Just find other things that you like to do that aren't regression centric and make sure you're feeding your adult self as much as you're feeding your regressed self because you do not want to lose touch with your adult self or your regressed self gotta keep a balance. And tip number five is to allow yourself to feel what you do. It is okay to go through times where you are mostly regressed and on the flip side go through times where you hardly regress. It's normal to go through waves with regression. It's important to try not to force yourself to go either way and to go with the flow as much as you can. Now obviously if you're mostly regressed there are going to be times where you have to do adult things and you have to push yourself and that's understandable but don't beat yourself up for not being able to be totally grown up it's okay it's fine I'm pretty sure this is something that happens to most of us at one point or another so those are a few tips I have on balancing adult life and regression I hope you found this video helpful and if you would like to see more videos all about age regression from me you can subscribe to this channel I post over here a couple of times a week but if if you want to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. If you wish to help support me and my content, there is a Ko-Fi linked down in the description where you can tip me for just the price of a coffee, and all of that goes to really helping me out. But if you would rather spoil a baby, I have a wish list linked down there as well, or spoil yourself and use my code at any of the shops in the description. I love you guys a whole lot and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.